Hello, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the second half of March, March 16th to the 31st. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's get to it. Um, just so you guys know, I am available on Instant Go if you have a quick question. Um, and I'm also available for private readings if you're if you don't have an Apple um, uh, phone or like if you don't have an iPhone or an iPad or something like that. I am available for private readings. You can just email me. The link to my Instant Go um, profile is in the description box below. And my email address is also in the description box, along with some descriptions of different readings that I do offer. Oakley Doakley, let's get to it, Aries. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Aries, sun, moon, and rising. What are the best messages for Aries for the second half of March? First to the fifth. Oh, sorry, no, the second half of March, 16th to the 31st. There it is. Aries, 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 Aries. Aries. Thank you so much, Spirit. Aries. One more shuffle for you, Aries, and then we'll cut the deck and get started. Aries. Okay, overall energies, we have the hermit, introspection, taking time away, finding the inner light, yeah, finding your inner light and following it, picking up that some of you are really coming to terms with yourself. Like I, I just heard that, so, or I felt that some of you are starting to get the um, gumption, I'll say to follow your own inner light and to do the things that it is you want to do for yourself instead of, you know, allowing people to um, do it, make those decisions for you. Next, we have the Ten of Pentacles, which I think is a great thing to see there, especially in um, relation to, you know, finding your own inner light and following through with that, with, you know, with, with, with all of that. The Ten of Pentacles, Ten, Ten of Pentacles is reaching completion towards something, like really being uh, physically stable, uh, financially stable, um, financially stable is what I really heard just now. So that for many of you, that could really be what you're going towards. Um, and here we have the Hierophant. I'm, I'm picking up for you, some of you Aries, and then also we have the sun. Okay. Um, yeah, which is a really good sign. What I'm picking up here. Aries, is that some of you are taking your own lead and um, moving forward with something in the physical realm that is going to bring you a whole hell of a lot of abundance. Um, some of you may be embarking on a brand new job situation that it's that you've been wanting to do for a long time, but you never really got yourself around to doing it. Um, and with the Hierophant here, I really see you guys, uh, the Hierophant talks about um, convention, it talks about systems um, uh, that have been in place for a long time, things like that. It can also talk about marriage, too. Um, so maybe some of you, <laughs> maybe some of you are getting the courage to propose to somebody. Ooh, that could be nice. But other, but other than that, what I'm really picking up for the most part here is you guys following your inner light um and the hierophant is really um is really driving that message home for me because the hierophant can also talk about um spirituality and um uh guidance from <clears throat> someone that you really value someone whose opinion you really value um like you know say a certain um a pastor or uh a priest, something like, you know, something like that. But in this case, when it's coupled with the hermit, I'm seeing that you're following your own inner spirituality, like your higher self is speaking to you and guiding you towards something that's going to lead you ultimately to the 10 of pentacles. That's going to lead you to um, find a, a physical abundance, abundance in general. Um, and with the sun shining, and with the sun shining here, hmm, 
I'm sorry, guys. I just got this ringing in my headphones. I don't know what that was. Sorry about it. Um, with the sun shining here, I'm, I'm seeing everything's going to turn out great. Okay. Illumination also. All right. So let's get into your story here. We have the Ace of Wands. Yes, inspiration. Definitely inspiration. And again, I mean, the Ace of Wands talks about um, passion. It can talk about lust. It can talk about, you know, sexual desire. Um, but in this case, if we're talking about, you know, you embarking, because I really do feel like some of you are going to start embarking on a major business venture, something that you've been wanting to do for a very long time. Um, if we're talking about that, the Ace of Wands here is speaking to the inspiration. Almost, I hear the the aha moment that's going to lead you down this path for you, you know, for you doing this. And again, if we're talking about marriage, this is the inspiration, right? <laughs> to propose with death. Yeah. Um, now this is leading back to uh, what I said in the beginning about some of you are starting to really start to take the reins of your own life and do things the way you see fit. Right. And death is speaking to that because it's talking about a transformation. Um, specifically, that is what I thought of when I saw death. But then overall, in speaking back to the message here for like the overall, because this, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, guys. This is a general reading. So take what you take, what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. But in this case, when we're talking about, like, say, if you're going on a business venture, death is talking to the transformation. OK, death is speaking to the transformation that this moment of introspection is um, providing for you, Aries. And the Ace of Wands coupled with that is a great sign because you have the passion to now move forward. Next in your story, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And the Eight of Cups. Um, especially with, you know, if there's a business venture you're looking at, looking at take, moving forward with, you're planning it out. OK, understand that this is going to take time. The Knight of Pentacles is one of the is the slowest moving knight in the deck. The Knight of Pentacles is methodical is meticulous like draws out a blueprint that and 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 you know plans for things that many people wouldn't have even thought of you know what i mean the knight of pentacles uh, knight of pentacles leaves no stone unturned right coupled with the eight of cups here it's like yeah you're moving on you're moving on from something that was not fulfilling for you okay you're leaving you're leaving that old stuff behind especially with death here but you are planning it out which makes perfect sense because Aries, Aries are great at really making a plan and following through with it. Yeah. Excellent. Moving forward in your story, we have the Five of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. So to me, this is speaking to what you're leaving behind. And now please um, don't get wrapped, wrapped up in the gender. OK, uh, this is just energy. Um, but the queen of swords uh, is the type of energy to not put up with the BS it is not about the drama. Um, and so, you know, she just she, she as soon as she realizes something isn't right around her, she removes herself from the situation and she cuts it out of her life. Um, but with the five of pentacles here, I'm picking up that this moment of introspection what the hermit is talking about is because of this five of pentacles energies that you've been experiencing for some time, feeling left out in the cold in some way. And that could be with people around you, but it could also be leaving yourself out, feeling left out in the cold because you haven't really felt like you've been honoring yourself. And so now the queen of swords is stepping in and saying, no more of that. We are done with that. Excellent. Moving forward, we have the hanging man with the king of pentacles. Very interesting. Um, to me, the, the the King of Pentacles is related to the Knight of Pentacles here, and the Hanging Man is a moment of um, you know you're you're in suspension right now. There's like a bit of a pause, um, but that's so that you can gain a brand new perspective on something. Enlightenment also. Um, so the reason why the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles are related in my head right now is because this hanging man, this moment of introspection, this moment of suspension is giving you the opportunity to plan things out with the energy of the Knight of Pentacles to then ultimately become the King of Pentacles, ultimately, ultimately the Ten of receiving the abundance of the Ten of Pentacles, having the abundance of the Ten of Pentacles. Yes. 
Go get it, Aries. That's great. Next, we have the High Priestess and the Knight of Cups. Ooh, <laughs> this proposal thing is coming back. Um, yeah. So the high, the, the high Priestess, she keeps secrets. She knows all. She's intuitive. Um, so yeah, this could be a secret being kept around um, an offer of love with the Knight of Cups. You could be going after someone. You, this doesn't have to be a proposal. This could be um, you following your own inner light, your own inner guidance to pursue somebody, to um, make your love for this person known. But with the High Priestess, number one, you're following your intuition, which is great that because you've been connecting with it in this uh, hermit mode that you've been going through or about to experience, whatever. Um, you're, you're speaking with your intuition, but you're keeping it a secret, right? Because the high priestess is about secrets, or it can be. Okay, and finally, we have the fool embarking on a brand new journey with, ooh, wow, look, the king of swords. And the king of swords is right under the queen of swords here. That's very interesting. So, Aries, um, what I'm seeing here is the Queen of Swords is the one that stepped in and took all the emotion out of the situation that you were experiencing, whatever was making you feel out and left out in the cold, took all of the emotion out of the situation and said, let's look at this objectively. What needs to be cut out? Boop, cut that, 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 done. Moving forward, now we have the Fool with the King of Swords. The King of Swords is saying to you, how can I make this happen? Where, because it's so funny because the, again, this is just energy, all right? Don't get wrapped up in the gender. But masculine energies depicted here in the King of Swords, masculine energies are the go-getters, the ones that go do it. Go take the action to get things done. So as you are planning, as you are in um, hermit mode and finding your inner light, as you are in the hanging man suspension, as you are uh, working with the Knight of Pentacles energy to plan this stuff out. The King of Swords is helping you be objective towards this brand new journey that you're about to embark on. Excellent, Aries. This is great. I really, really like this reading for you guys. So there you have it, Aries. I hope this was helpful. Um, if if you want a private reading, you can email me. If you have a quick question, you can instant go me. Other than that, I will see you guys for the beginning of April. Much love to you and take care. Bye-bye.